y'all and welcome to today's video. I am super excited. I'm going to be doing some speed reviews for y'all. I love testing new makeup here on my channel. I love playing with new makeup, doing first impression videos, get ready with me's, all of that. But I always come back and follow up with reviews after I've really tested something, tried something, know what I like, don't like about it. So that's what we're going to do today. I have 15 products, I believe, sitting here in front of me. I'm going to read you them all for you and I'm going to try to do it fast so let's jump into it. Okay I did not expect to like this Ritual Defeat foundation like I do. This is an oil serum type of foundation. I have oily skin. I'm 35. I live in a humid place. So an oil foundation, I just, you know, I'm always skeptical. This is a like medium glowy finish. And I have found a way that I love to use this. It doesn't work every single way. So I will say that I have to think about my makeup routine or application or whatever you want to call it when I'm using this foundation. My favorite way to use this is with my one size, it's like secure the sweat or something. I can't, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I will link it down below my one size primer. So I put down my one size primer today. I put on my foundation. This I find works best with a brush, a sponge, doesn't work so well. Usually I use a damp sponge with foundations, but oil and water, you know, that's not the best. So a brush is the best way to do this. And I like to use this on days where I don't want to go like all out. Just a couple of drops of this foundation for a light to medium coverage, tap on a little concealer with a brush, and then just lightly kind of set my face with a powder. And I feel like I get a beautiful glowy result with this that covers some of the things I want to cover, but still looks very skin-like on the face. Now, again, this is an oily foundation. So at about the eight hour mark, I'm, I'm having some oils come through my skin. So if I was going to work a 12 hour shift, this would not be the foundation that I reach for, but I did wear it lots. I've worn it on the weekend. I've worn it when I've been outside for a few hours. And I do feel like at the eight hour mark, when my oils are coming through, it doesn't look terrible. I just look a little dewy, like maybe I need to blot, but I've really been enjoying it. Like I'm surprised again, I'm wearing it today. I put on that and then I put on a little bit of my Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer, kind of tapped it both in with the brush and then lightly set my face with my Huda powder and then my banana, I mean not banana, Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Olive Sand. I really, really like this. I don't know if I said I'm in shade 150, which is described as medium shade for golden and olive undertones. So perfect shade for me. It is the shade I'm wearing now. If I do get any deeper this summer, I'm definitely going to have to get a darker shade, but I'm surprised at how much I like that foundation, y'all. I did not expect to love it. And when I use it with primers that are like a little glowy or hydrating or oily, definitely doesn't work like that. But primers that are meant to keep the makeup on a little more grippy, that is what I like to pair with this foundation. Okay, I bought this Glossier number one pencil in the shade Ochre. I was shopping with my friend Angie and Yalika Nevis. She was like, you have to try this. Like you don't have to try this, but you have to try this because it's beautiful and it lasts on the waterline. I am wearing this today in my waterline. I have worn this several times now. It stays in the waterline. It doesn't wear away super quickly. I do have eyes that can get watery. So I like an eyeliner that's going to stay all day. This one does. I'm also wearing my Stone and Rock palette from Odin's Eye today. I did film this. It will be coming as a short if it's not already up, but we'll review palettes in a separate video. Okay. Another eyeliner. This is the Danessa Myricks Light Work Onyx 
Paint Brush Fluid Eyeliner. This is a nice eyeliner. This is a brush tip. It's very beautiful. It stays all day. It doesn't fade, but I don't know that I love it any more than I love my NYX. I was trying to find it. I think that Epic Ink is what it's called. Also a brush tip and it's a fraction of the price. I'm a little more critical when it comes to eyeliners. If I was to choose like another high-end eyeliner that I love, it would be the Hindash liquid liner. So I think this one is good, but it's not something that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have to have this forever. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. Like it's good, but I probably won't repurchase because of that high end price tag. Okay, on my lips today, I have my Huda Beauty Rosy Kiss Lip Blush Creamy Lip and Cheek Stain. So the shade I have is Rosy Kiss. I do have my collaboration gloss with Unearthly on top, the shade Omen, sparkly, not gritty. But this from Huda is beautiful. My favorite way to wear this is on the lips. I have worn it on the cheeks and I think it's nice, but I think where it really shines is the lips. It is a lip stain. It does not dry my lips out. It has a good amount of color without being like crazy, crazy pigmented. Today I did put on a layer, kind of let it dry for 60 seconds, put on another layer, let it dry for 60 seconds, and then I went in with my gloss. I think it's beautiful. This is the color that it is. Again, on the cheeks it's pretty, but my favorite way to wear it is with the lips. I do feel like it gives me a nice stain throughout the day. So even if, you know, I'm eating, drinking, I still have some color on my lips. I am contemplating picking up some more shades from Huda. I think I'm going to put those in my cart and maybe wait for a sale or something because I think this is a really nice lip stain formula that is not drying. Okay, I bought the MAC Skin Finish Sunstruck Matte Bronzer. I have the shade Matte Deep Golden. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. I like this. I think this is such a pretty bronzer. It is matte. It reminds me a bit of my Fenty Beauty bronzer, but I believe this shade is just a touch lighter. This blends beautifully on the skin. It's not a matte bronzer in like that it will grab in weird places. If you've ever tried like matte bronzing products or matte blushes and you put them down and they stay there and you can't blend them, no, don't be afraid of matte. It's a beautiful matte that is easy to blend and just kind of look seamless with the skin. Again, it is the bronzer that I'm wearing today and I've really, really enjoyed this one. I've been trying a few bronzers lately and this one I really enjoy. Some of them I'm like, oh, they're just okay, but I definitely do not regret my purchase of this one. I think it's super pretty. I like this compact and I know they have glowy versions as well. Adept Cosmetics Ketracel White. This is a multi-use palette. So we have two cream shades and then two like oh, beautiful like rainbow brick shades. I do have a whole video with this palette using it on the face and eyes. I really like these shades. Mix them together, use them separately. They're super beautiful. I tend to kind of mix them together and use them that way. I have to say though, the standout in this palette is these creams. These cream highlighters right here, they're these multi-chrome highlighters that look so beautiful on top of powder, under powder, set face, not set face, beautiful. They sink into the skin. They last on the skin. Just absolutely flawless. New favorite. Okay, I have a couple of products to talk about from Lawless. Lawless sent me some of their things. This is the one and done mascara. I don't like this mascara. I've tried it several times. I have to make myself use this. It's just a little goopy. The brush is really fat plastic brush. And with this formula, I'm not able to get super close to my lash line and then it's goopy and then I'm trying to comb it through and it's just always a mess for me. I really, th this is not a mascara for me. It's just not a mascara for me. But what is for me is their perfecting setting powder. This is a silk smooth powder. So I have the shade medium and I have used this under my eyes. I really like this. I've been using this just if I want a light dusting underneath the eye to kind of set, perfect. It's matte, but not a flat matte. Just really, really, really pretty. Doesn't look cakey or heavy. Doesn't add too much color. Just really, really pretty. I've been enjoying that powder a lot. Now a powder I have not been enjoying a lot is this Jones Road 
tinted face powder. So I tried this in a video and y'all could see the difference between this and my Huda powder. This was sent to me from Jones Road. I have the shade light and I have the shade medium. So it did kind of lift my concealer when I tried to put it on with a powder puff like I like to use. So I tried it again though. You can watch the video if you wanna see me try this, but I tried it again and I tried to use it with a brush. I tried to just do a very light amount and it just, first of all, the color's off. So there aren't really good shade descriptions of these. If you go on the site, it just says like light for light to medium skin tones. So I would say this has a undertone that's just not right for me. I am a warm olive, so I do tend to go for under eye powders that are a little more like golden yellow leaning. And I think this one just has a little too much like peachiness to it. That's just not right for me. I also tried the medium and I just, it wasn't anything that blew me away, you know? So for a high end price tag, I want it to blow me away. Pat McGrath bronzers. These are the Skin Fetish Divine bronzers. I brought the shade Desert Glow and Bronze Nirvana, and I like these. I think the formula is nice, but I don't think either one of these shades are absolutely perfect for me. I think they're just a little, little, little too warm, but it's a beautiful formula. It's, it's really a beautiful formula. She does have a lot of shades. It's just, it's something I like, I don't love, and I don't like find myself going, ooh, like I'm ready to use my Pat McGrath bronzers like I am with my MAC bronzer, my Fenty, or my Charlotte Tilbury. So for the price point, like I don't regret buying these. I'm glad to, like I got to try them out. The formula is beautiful. Easy to blend, pigmented, looks really nice, looks like it's one with the skin, but because the shades are just a bit too like warm orangey on me, it's not my absolute favorite. NARS has their Afterglow Liquid Blushes. I bought one and I really like this. This is a sheer buildable blush. So if you see some of these cream liquid blushes and they're just too pigmented, you feel like they're overwhelming, I recommend the NARS. It's sheer and then you can build it. I really, really like this. I think it's super beautiful. I think it looks like a nice flush on the cheeks. If you want a like easy, effortless type of look, you just want to throw on a little liquid blush. I like this and like the Huda lip stain, I will probably pick up more during a sale time because I think this formula is really pretty and I like the packaging. Okay, I bought the Beauty Blender Boost Firming and Smoothing Peptide Primer. This is a hydrating primer. It says it's good for like dry, normal to combination skin. Even though I have oily skin, I like to go glow. You see me today, I do have some glow. I like matte, I like to glow. I don't discriminate when it comes to makeup. This, I wanted to buy it because I'm like, let me try it. Like I wanna try it, even though it's for dry to combination skin, I still wanna try it. I think if you do have normal dry leaning skin, you will really like this. I feel like this is very hydrating. It feels like a nice kind of smoothing base for makeup. It didn't do a whole lot for me other than that. Like it just felt nice on the skin. Makeup went on top nicely, but I have primers that I like more than this. And I found myself the last few times I used it, having to make myself use it because I'm like, I need to test this. And I would pair it with my more mattifying foundations. I think it's good. It's just not amazing. It didn't do anything revolutionary for me, but if you have dry skin, maybe it could be more for you. Revlon sent me their Skin Caring Foundation Illuminance Foundation. So I'm surprised at how much I like this as well. I like this with a mattifying primer. So my Milk Makeup, um, is it, what, it, what is their matte one? Like stay matte, I don't remember. Mattifying primers work good with this and then like a favorite setting powder because this is a beautiful like medium coverage i would say it's medium coverage glowy foundation it's set yeah medium coverage natural finish and hydrating so i would agree with all of that it's more glowy on me than a natural finish i would say but again i do have oily skin count how many times i say i have oily skin in this video the limit does not exist this foundation though very pretty. I would say at around the eight hour mark of wearing this, I need to blot. I blot a little bit, get a little bit of that excess oil off my face, and then I can continue wearing it for the rest of my day. I usually have my makeup on 
12 or more hours. It's just the life I live. I get up early, I do my makeup, I go to bed late, I take my makeup off. So I have the shades 105 and, I'm sorry, not 105, 405 and 409. I kind of mix these together, usually put in a little bit of my olive mixer to make it my perfect shade. But overall, I enjoy this. Now I did order the Revlon foundation that's for oily skin because my friend Allie Dawson was raving about it. She loves it. I'm like, I have to try it. So we'll definitely be testing that in the future. But I think this is nice. And I think if you have a skin type that is less oily than me, like maybe combo, normal. I think you will really like this and I think it will probably wear even longer on you. Okay, I got this Undefined R&R &R Night Serum gifted to me. I've never tried Undefined Beauty and I've never even heard of this brand. I'm always skeptical when it comes to skincare because my skin is picky. It will break out if it doesn't like something quick. My skin will get irritated if it doesn't like something. So I decided to try this. I looked at the ingredients and everything and I'm like, okay, let me try this. This is a woman owned brand. I'm like, listen, let me try this. So this is amazing. I was going to read you some of the claims. Um, it says that it is youthful skin without the irritation, reparative overnight treatment to soothe, nourish, reduce the appearance of damaged skin for renewed and vibrant skin. This is a lightweight serum in oil. So I have used this like several different ways, but I have used it every single night. So if I'm looking and I'm like, you know what? I've been spending some time outside. I really need to like really need to nourish my skin. I will take like a full dropper of this and I will just kind of lay all over my face and let it be kind of like this thick layer as my last step in my nighttime routine. Take it down my neck, down my chest, everything. Or if I'm like, you know what, my skin's looking good, I will take just one little drop of this and really like press it into the skin. When I do the one drop, it will sink into the skin. After about 30 minutes, I can't really feel it on my face. My face just feels nice and hydrated. So I have been using this both ways. It, ha it has so many different ingredients, moth bean, macadamia, vitamin E, rose hip, some other words, I don't know. I love this. Now, I did see that Undefined said this is their new packaging. They're switching everything to this type of packaging. So if you order from their site, it will come in this packaging. But at their other retailers, they do have different packaging. They're switching everything over. But just in case you see it, it's different packaging. Same formula, same product inside, a different package. Okay, the last product I want to talk about is this Day Agave Dry Heat Hold Styling mist. Okay. I love the day brand. I think they make some really awesome hair care products. I've tried a lot of their things and some of their things have become favorites. I have the wave spray from them in my hair today. I talked about my hair in yesterday's video. If you want to see it, this is just a few days later and my hair's like fallen and dirty and all that. So this is heat protection and frizz control with flex flexible hold. So it says that heat protects up to 450. Exactly what it said exactly what it said. It gives you heat protection and it gives you hold. So when I get ready to curl my hair or whatever, I will take this, like say I'll take this section, I'll kind of spray it with this, and then I will take my pieces and I will curl them. It gives me heat protection and it gives some hold and grip to the hair. I really like this. It also smells really good. I love for my hair to smell good. I love hair care products that smell good and this is so good, yeah. Heat wave handled, ultra fine styling mist provides heat protection up to 450, humidity control, shiny, touchably soft all day hold. It says shake well, section hair, mist evenly, and style with your favorite hot tool. That is exactly what I've been doing. I, listen, when Day puts out a product, I'm always curious. I haven't tried everything in their line, but I would like to because the things I have, I've had such a great experience with. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this speed review video. Most of these makeup products I have featured in other videos, so if you wanna see them in action, definitely check it out. I will have a palette speed review video coming soon. I always like to give eyeshadow and pigment palettes their own special moment, so definitely subscribe if you wanna see that. Have you been trying any of these products? Have you been trying anything new? Are you shopping your stash? Are you finding like favorites that you forgot about? Definitely leave me like the products you've been loving and hating down in the description 
description, and not in the description box, the comment section. I would love to hear from y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I told you what is on my eyes. My glow that you see though, like my highlight is my Resurgence Highlighter Duo with Unearthly. And again, the eye look is with this Odin's eye and it, if it's not up now, it will be coming soon as a short. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye. Thank you.